Welcome back to the news at nine. We have spent six months reporting on the problems short term rentals are causing in certain neighborhoods across the valley. Yeah, wild parties, bad behavior and now gunfire. Early Sunday morning, a party at a Scottsdale home saw a fight become a shootout. Police tell our chief investigative reporter Morgan Lowe they're beginning to view these short term rentals as a public safety problem. This was Sunday morning in Scottsdale, but not the Sunday morning this city or any want to see. Crime tape police cars, the remnants of a shooting. Pretty much always a loud, problematic house. Neighbors say this was just the latest incident at this short-term rental, which has been a nuisance for months. And individual police officers tell CBS 5 Investigates they're seeing short-term rentals increasingly used for pop-up parties with drugs, guns, and big crowds. It's gotten worse, if anything. Bill Hunter has been tracking the effects of short-term rentals on his and other neighborhoods. This Paradise Valley mansion had a party with 300 people a week ago. Because the clubs and bars in Scottsdale are shutting down, the action is moving to the short-term rentals. Hunter believes party organizers are taking advantage of a loophole in the law. There is no occupancy limit on short-term rentals. So while restaurants and bars need to keep numbers low, these places are exempt. Last week, Airbnb announced that it had suspended 50 properties from its listing service because of complaints about loud parties. But police tell me this problem is only getting worse. I'm Morgan Lowe for Arizona's Family.